Hey guys, this is Rakesh here and I'm, I'm from IIT University, a free open online university for students and for professionals. Guys, we, I'm, I'm working on a playlist which is Scala Crash Course for, um, um, for Spark users. So in this playlist, I'm not explaining each and every feature of Scala, but only the features uh, which will help users to start developing in Spark. And I expect that you must have um, gone through the previous videos in this playlist. Then only this particular uh, video will make sense to you. So I hope uh, that uh, you remember that um, we have certain uh, uh, functions. We had gone through function immutability and other stuff. Now I'm, I'll focus on collection API. So the collection API is nothing but uh, it actually helps you um, so suppose guys, uh, I'll explain each and every collection API which will be needed in Spark development. So suppose I have a list, uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I'll say my list dot map item is equal to item plus one. Or if I'll say, um, So it is variable if I'll say where not where uh, so in list uh, so this is a list of integers if I'll say uh, instead of item if I'll say uh, particular variable which is variable plus two what I'll uh, expect is oh variable if I cannot use variable I have to use uh, I'll say item or if I'll say again an item you have seen that now what it has done so if I'll say my list dot for each print ln okay what it has done is it has Though it has added uh, each and every map item, but the lists list sorry remains the same because it was immutable. Okay, if I'll say bear list and my list equals my list. Here, if I'll say my list equals, and if I will now say, now you can see that it has done that. So, guys, uh, this is a map function which actually maps each and every item uh, in that collection. So do not think that this item is a word which I had taken. If I'll say T over here also, I can say that T. So it actually maps it accordingly. So now we had seen that it has further added the variables. Now if I'll say this, further added variables will come. Now if I'll say my list dot reduce. First, let me go through uh, flat map as well. So if I'll say well lines equals equals list of hello how are you and I am fine and IT versity. So I expect a um, list of uh, uh, <coughs> string come here. Okay, guys. Now if I'll do lines dot map, and if I'll say lines should be uh, splitted with 
a space which will be small plus now you can see that what it has done is that it has created three arrays of and it has created a list in which we have three arrays i hope you can see this right and if i'll say dot flat map m must be capitals so now you can see that uh, so this is the difference between a flat map and map it, the example explains it clearly that in map it looks for an individual item and then segregate it uh, or then uh, do a particular operation in this case i am splitting it on uh, i'm splitting each and every line but when i do a flat map it flats it out and gives me a but uh, um, um, generic uh, output which is nothing but a list in which i have or uh, i have all the uh, variables which i had mentioned though the variables were mentioned as part of string but uh, now the output is hi hello how are you and i'm fine right here so this is nothing but a list of string last but not the least uh, you remember this right um, my list dot for each so as i felt do my list dot reduce and a comma b which is nothing but the variables and then if i'll say a plus b okay so what will i expect here i'll expect it will add all these and gives me the output okay and if i'll say let me see what it will give me it'll give me five and if i'll say b it'll give me 13. so guys reduces nothing but it actually reduces so in a suppose in a list or suppose in a collection or suppose in any collection like map or any other collection uh, like array or some other collections if i have to produce a, if i have to make a reduce function what i'll do is i'll simply say reduce uh, and uh, the variables a is b is nothing but all these variables first it will check for the first and second and then it will be b or it then it will be whatever it will whatever it, whatever it will return it will be returned to the previous element and then it will uh, keep on adding and uh, so it will be like a plus b is equal to c then the c will be added with a c will be again replaced by a new a by a, a and the b will be the next item in this case it will be seven so this is how it will do if i'll say a only so what it will do is it will only give me the first uh, element and if i'll say b it will just give me the last element so now if i have to find uh, what is the biggest or uh, what is the uh, so what i'll do is and let me forget about this list uh, sorry so i'll say well new list is equal to list one dot five dot three dot eight two dot ninety nine dot three dot four i think that's it and if i had to make a uh, reduce function new list dot reduce again a comma b what i want is it should give me some value and i'll say if a is greater than b return a else b i hope the syntax is correct yep so now what it has done is it has given me the uh the um what i'll say the largest or the biggest integer 
which was nothing but 113. And if I'll say less than, it should give me the bar. So I hope uh, reduce is reduce flat map map is uh, uh, you are able to understand what I'm uh, you're able to understand my uh, these features properly. So guys, I think I'm done with the this uh, crash course. I hope you liked it. If you have liked it, kindly like the videos as well and please subscribe to this channel we are doing our best to provide you uh, the best uh, uh, okay uh, i hope you are liking the videos kindly give your comments your uh, views your ideas your likes your dislikes everything is welcome thank you guys